KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Your sports report is coming at you like we never left. And man, I'm Jason Salas, guys. I got to tell you, it is a good day to be a knight because I'm joined in the KUAM News Zoom room right now by a very old friend of mine, uh, someone who's appetite and hunger for competition and more importantly uh teaching young men and women how to compete the right way exhibit sportsmanship and bring home the trophy uh has not wavered in the 30 years i've known him so chris shepherd the athletic director of uh, st john's school whose school by the way took three volleyball championships and the sugar and spice soccer championship all in like a span of like three days so uh amazing achievement chris welcome to the show hey thank you glad to be here okay uh what does this mean for you know for the students to not only say that you know they've been able to bring the hardware home, you know, to upper two mon that they can represent, have school pride and, you know, school spirit, but also, you know, that, that the fruits of their labors like have, have truly paid off. And this is something that you've always instilled in these young student athletes. Yeah, I think, I think that's the, the big thing. Uh, you know, we ask our kids to do a lot here at St. John's in terms of, uh, of course, not just athletics, but schoolwork as well. And so to balance their time and put in the best effort that they can put in, and reap the rewards of the of the work they put in uh, was a great weekend for us, uh, or great week for us this past week. So, yeah. How do you actually celebrate that many championships? You know, like like all on the same day, or do you basically say we're going to go all the way to spring break <laughs> with you know, by celebrating this? Because I mean that that's that's an incredible achievement. Like you you win four in the same weekend. Yeah. It, well, actually, we won three on the one day because uh, there you go. The, the uh, boys' middle school indoor volleyball team won Thursday night, and their, their game started at about 5.30. But just before that, on at 5 p.m., our, our uh, high school girls' pair of Shihore Fujisaki and Sierra Laurent won the, uh, the high school beach volleyball all-island tournament. Her dad's a pretty good, our, pretty good volleyball player, too. <laughs> yes, he is. And then yeah. our boys' team, Shout out from, the uh, Zeke Sablon and Aiden Johnson, their, their game started at seven, so they and they won the All Island uh, Beach Volleyball Tournament. So it was like girls win, middle school boys win, then our high school boys won. So we were kind of spread out all over the place. So, uh, but it was it was a good feeling and it was a good day. Mm -hmm. Now, and not only as the athletic director, but also as someone who you know who played sports for St. John's, you know, like way back when you were going there, and you know, St. John's at the time. Um, didn't have the upper school that they have now. So you could graduate from there, you know, very, very, very famous story. You went to Hawaii, you played for um, the rainbow warriors, like in UH and NCAA division one, uh, but to come back and now to, to impart wisdom and to, you know, add to that legacy of, of your alma mater, you know, in a manner of speaking, like uh, how, how does that make you feel? Well, you know, I've always wanted to come back here. I, Back in my day, as you know, uh, St. John's was only up to ninth grade, and then we had to decide what we were going to do after that. But uh, this is where I started my uh, high school sports career, and then I we gradu graduated uh, ninth grade, and I went off to Hawaii to a boarding school and ended up staying in Hawaii for college. But, uh, you know, Guam is my home, and Guam is where I love to be, so I always wanted to come back. And I was fortunate that when I graduated, from UH that St. John's had an opening. So I took it and 30 years later, I'm still here doing what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, St. John's has had, you know, like a very, uh, a very long, I mean, like, like most schools, you know, it kind of like ebbs and flows. Some years it'll be very, very dominant um, depending on, you know, uh, who they go to. I remember like, you know, Richard Chu, a very good friend of mine, like incredibly dominant volleyball and basketball player. Um, uh, you know, the list goes on, you know, Brett Fish, uh, amazing basketball talent. Um, uh, so many, so many people have like passed through those halls. Uh, how do you, as kind of like the architect of this whole framework or the program for developing young athletes, how do you like see that, and what can you build on, especially with like these recent championships? No, it's interesting because you you mentioned some names there, and it seems like we always have a handful of pretty good athletes, and every once in a while we get really lucky where we have a good group of kids that are that come through the program at the same time. So uh, like we have a really good group of eighth graders right now that hopefully uh, they'll stay here through high school and we'll see what we can do with them. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, like you said, an ebb and a flow. Our, our main thing is we just want to do the best we can for our kids and, and provide them the best opportunities for them to go out there and showcase what they have. And uh, you know, 
winning is great, but it's not the thing we focus on. We kind of focus more on just playing the game itself. And if we win, great. If we don't, we'll work on what we need to work on and try to get better. So winning's never really the I mean, everybody wants to win. We get that. That's why we keep score. But, you know, that's not all we care about. We want to make sure that we're playing the right way and, and doing go. things the right way. So. You got to admit, though, being able to say we're number one at the end of the season is a really good feeling. <laughs> oh, of course. It feels really good. Of course. <laughs> okay. And then fi final question before I let you go, because it is a school day. I know you got a kajillion things. And, you know, you're also involved in many different aspects of Idol, Idol Athletics here, which we appreciate. Um, let's talk expansion maybe about the St. John's athletic program, because, um, you know, if students wanted to play that go to St. John's and they wanted to play a certain sport that you don't offer, you know, um, uh, they could maybe play for like another school or maybe just, um, uh, you know, do something different. Do you see possibly baseball? What I would love to cover St. John's football, like one of these days, I said the same thing to harvest and everything. I would love to cover like St. John's versus harvest in uh, football. So what do you see, um, somewhere down the road? You know, we're, we're always looking to uh, improve the program. Uh, you know, football would be a little tough for us with the population that we have. But, uh, you know, I, I always throw this out at the meetings. And I always get shut down because I'm not a, not a football school. But I always say, why don't we do like seven-a-side football or nine-a-side football? But, you know, if it ever came up, I'm sure we'd give it a try. Uh, but like you said, the league, the IIAG, and I know the ESA league as well, they have policies in place where – uh, your school doesn't offer a sport that your students can uh, ask to affiliate with another school. So we've had uh, some decent football players go play for JFK in the past. Uh, we've had some kids go play rugby with other schools. Uh, we have a kid this year uh, who's playing baseball with, I think, ND, and he played with them last year. So even if we don't offer the sport, we'll find a way if the kid wants to play to, to get him to play. So, uh, But, yeah, you know, Sports is not cheap either, so we got to, you know, you got to budget everything. And uh, but we'll always try to do what's what our kids want us to do. I'll we'll always be there to help support them, uh, with whatever endeavor they want to pursue. And there you go. And and yeah, as long as I've known you, Shep, and everything, you've always been about, um, you know, giving you know, athletes, whether they're teammates of yours, you know, your work with the national team, you know, you of course, you represented Team Guam as a player and then uh, as a coach for many, many years, and we appreciate that. But you've always given um, people opportunities through athletics, and we really appreciate that. And, and speaking of expensive, it is, it is also expensive to build a brand new facility to hold all those trophies that you guys are bringing in. So, uh, you know, maybe you guys <laughs> might be doing campus expansion pretty soon, too. <laughs> yeah, like I got I should. Uh, I was scanning around the office, but I'm not good at filming stuff. But we got a lot of trophies around here, and they're they're nice. Maybe we should build a, like a little trophy case or something out in the front. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, I think all the coaches here that coach love what they do, and I love what I do, and that's what kind of makes our program roll. And uh, each <clears throat> coach here is really supportive of their kids and their program, and uh, so I'm really blessed to be where I'm at. And uh, don't want to change anything for the next few years for sure. There you go. Uh, well, Chris Shepard, the athletic director at St. John's School, bringing home championships and uh, teaching kids how to play sports the right way. Shep, man, we really appreciate it. And congratulations on all your success. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.